Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jonah. In this lesson, I'll show you how to talk about time easily and correctly. We'll talk about prepositions of time and some expressions of time, which are commonly used. Let's see what they are. Now we have here a sentence. It has four possible endings. And let's see if we are able to use all of these with the preposition in. Let's meet in the morning. Let's meet in the afternoon. Let's meet in the evening. Let's meet in the night. So yes, we can say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but we don't say in the night. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. That's just how it is. So the correct way is let's meet at night. Okay, let's try a different sentence. I was tired this morning. I was tired this afternoon. I was tired this evening. I was tired this night. Let's check. I was tired this morning. That is correct. I was tired this afternoon. I was tired this evening. But we don't say I was tired this night. It should be tonight. Okay, so you're seeing a pattern there. Now, let's check at another sentence. He called yesterday morning. He called yesterday morning. He called yesterday afternoon. He called yesterday evening. He called yesterday night. So are all of those correct? Let's see. We can say yesterday morning, yesterday afternoon, yesterday evening. But again, we cannot say yesterday night. Instead, we say last night. He called last night. Okay, now let's look at another sentence. See you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow afternoon. See you tomorrow evening. See you tomorrow night. What do you think? Okay, let's see. We can say tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening. And in this kind of sentence, tomorrow night is correct. See you tomorrow night. So it's like an exception <laughs> to the exception. <laughs> All right. Now, how about if we put a day on the expressions morning, afternoon, evening, and night. But first, let's check what we should use. Should we say in Thursday, at Thursday, or on Thursday? Which preposition should we use? Can you guess? All right, it should be on Thursday. For a specific day, time, or date, it should be on, on Thursday. So we say on Thursday morning, on Thursday afternoon, on Thursday evening, on Thursday night. Okay. How about expressions? Like when you're greeting someone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Are all of these expressions correct? Let's see. So, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening are all being used when you're trying to say, hi, <laughs> hello, or when you arrived. Say, for example, you're going to a party and you just arrived, you say, good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on uh, what time of day it is. 
but you don't say good night. Hi, good night. No, because good night is used only when you are to leave or when someone is about to sleep. So it's like saying bye. So just like our example earlier, you arrived at the party and you, you partied all night, you danced, and it's time for you to leave. You can say, I had a great night. I'm, I gotta go. Good night. You can say, you can say it that way. Or when, for example, your child is going to sleep, you can say, good night. Sometimes you can add sweet dreams and other expressions. Okay. Now it's time for the quiz. Let's see if you can identify if the sentences here are correct or incorrect. And if it is incorrect, what should the correct sentence be? Let's start. Number one, I'll send the email this afternoon. Is this correct? Yes, that is correct. Number two. Are we meeting in Sunday? Hmm? Okay, do you think it's right? I hope you said it's not because it's incorrect. Why? Are we meeting in Sunday? Remember, when we're talking about a specific day, we use on. So it should be, are we meeting on Sunday? Okay, now let's go to the next sentence. The concert is tomorrow night. Is this correct? Yes, it is correct. Good night, how are you? Hmm, does that sound right to you? Yes, that is incorrect. Because Good night is only used when you are about to leave or if someone is about to sleep. So in this case, you just arrived and you're asking people how they are. So you don't say good night. You can say good evening or just hello. How are you? Now let's look at this sentence. The fireworks look beautiful in the night. Is this correct? Okay, this is incorrect. Why? We don't say in the night. We say at night. The fireworks look beautiful at night. Next one. My test is in Friday morning. Is this correct? Hmm. Okay, yes, it is incorrect. Just like the other example, when we refer to a specific day, we use in, in we use on instead of in. So it's not correct to say my test is in Friday morning. We say on Friday morning. Okay, I think you're already getting it. Now let's look at the next sentence. The parcel arrived yesterday night. Is this correct? Hmm. This is incorrect. Why? Because we don't say yesterday night. What should we say then? We say last night. The parcel arrived last night. Okay, let's have more exercises. Oh, <laughs> I forgot to edit this one. So let's check. What are you doing later this night? So why is it incorrect? Because of the words this night. It should be tonight. What are you doing later tonight? Okay. Next one. I start work at four on the afternoon. Is this correct? This is incorrect. Why? Because we don't say four on the afternoon. We say in the afternoon. So we say in the morning 
in the afternoon, in the evening, but we only say at night. So night is the only exception. Okay, next one. Are you coming over tomorrow in night? Of course, this is incorrect because we don't say in night, we say This is incorrect. Are you coming over tomorrow night? This is incorrect because instead of saying, are you coming over tomorrow? Huh? Now let's look at the last number. Now let's look at the last number of our quiz. Are you coming over tomorrow in night? Do you think this is correct? Does it sound correct to you? Okay, it is incorrect. What is the correct sentence? We just remove in. We say, are you coming over tomorrow night? Okay, so it should be tomorrow night. That's it for this quiz. I hope that you learned about the proper way to use prepositions of time and how to say the expressions of time correctly. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.